Hi, it's Annette at Needlepointers.com. Have you ever found a quilt top is wider than the fabric you purchased for the backing? It's a common scenario in quilting, but can be corrected with a simple vertical strip set. Before you start gathering the fabric, it's important to calculate the required width of the strip set. To determine the strip set's width, first measure the quilt top width and add 8 inches to that measurement. Then measure the width of the existing backing fabric. Subtract the backing width from the quilt top's width and add an additional 2 inches for the seam allowance. The resulting figure represents the necessary width of the strip set needed to extend the backing fabric. After calculating the strip set's width, gather fabric from your scrap bin and your scrap stash to complement your quilt top. Cut these fabrics into rectangles using the width determined earlier, but with various heights to ensure the creation of an appealing strip set. Start chain piecing the strips together in pairs using a half inch seam allowance. Chain piecing makes the process go faster. The reason for the half inch seam allowance is that it adds strength and stability. Continue piecing the pairs together. After the paired strip sets are sewn, the thread between them needs trimming. You can use a scissor. However, a blade saver thread cutter, which repurposes used rotary blades like this one, is quicker and easier. How you use it is simply like this. Then continue sewing strip sets together until you achieve a strip set of the desired length which matches the backing fabric. After you have the strip set completely sewn together to reduce the bulk and ensure a smooth finish, press the seams open. Carefully position the strip set with one of the backing pieces aligning the edges and stitch with a half inch seam allowance. Make sure though that you have removed the selvage because this could cause puckering. Continue sewing the strip set to the first piece and then do the same thing with the second piece. Once the strip set is sewn between the two pieces of backing fabric, press the two seams towards the backing fabric away from the strip set. This vertical strip set backing is finished and will look fabulous with my scrappy quilt top. This same process can be used to lengthen a quilt backing by sewing the strip set horizontally. I hope this tutorial was helpful. Please like, share, and bookmark. Subscribe to our channel and follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Pinterest. Visit our website, needlepointers.com, for many quilting tutorials and free projects. While you're there, sign up for our newsletter so you won't miss our future videos.